Hello, brethren. I bring greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to share a word with us. My name is Brother Hosanna David. Welcome to Eagle Eye Opener. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 says, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. There are times in the life of every believer, if you have believed, there are times Satan will come for what you have believed. And people will ask you, where is your God? Job faced that kind of moment in his life twice, two occasions. He faced serious temptations. He lost everything he had the first time. The second time, it was his health. But he never gave up. God in turn blessed him so much abundantly to the extent that the Bible says his daughters were the most beautiful in the whole of the East. Even at the time of trial, God is expecting us to stand for what we believe. There are times that God will want us to defend what we believe with our life. Stephen was torn to death. God never came down or sent his angels down to rescue him. Instead, he looked up and he saw Jesus Christ standing at the right hand of God. Standing to do what? And I say, probably to welcome him. It was like, oh my son, Stephen, don't give up. I am standing with my hands stretched out, ready to receive you. Don't denounce your faith. I have a crown of life for you. I have a beautiful place for you. You have just a second to come and meet me. Just a few seconds. Don't give up. Just keep moving. It was a very great encouragement. And because this man, Stephen, was so consumed by what he saw, he was praying for his persecutors, those who were stoning him. It was like receiving a stone, a heavy stone, on his head, receiving a stone on his back, Receiving a hit and instead of shouting and screaming and cursing the persecutors, he was praying for them because he were opening through his death, they were opening the gates of heaven for him. God is expecting us to stand at all times. James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3 following says. Count it all joy, brethren, when you fall into diverse temptations, for the trying of your faith work at patience, and let patience have its full work in you. God allows us a lot of times to pass through trials, and sometimes he does not come to take away the trial, but instead he gives us the grace to overcome and pass through that moment and not deny him. There is no temptation that we have fallen into that is bigger than us. If it is bigger, if it is something that our faith can never carry, God will never allow it to come our way. So don't say, why am I passing through all this? Why me, Lord? Why me, Lord? Don't tell the Lord, if you don't deliver me by so, so, so time, I am going to stop serving you. Angels are waiting for you People are waiting for you. The saints are waiting for you. God is waiting for you to overcome. There is a crown of life that is waiting for you. Persecutions must surely come. The Bible says anyone that must serve God should be ready to suffer. Suffer for what you believe. Sugar-coated Christianity, meek and only Christianity is false. Jesus Christ said, if you must follow me, take up your cross and follow me. There is a cross that is attached to the crown. If there is no cross, there is no crown. If you carry a cross, the cross should be heavy enough to hold you up when it's time for crucifixion. Jesus Christ took his cross to Calvary. He took it to Golgotha and he was crucified with it. The cross is for crucifixion. Though the cross is a sign of Christianity, the primary work of the cross is for crucifixion. If you believe in the cross, believe also that the cross 
is where Jesus Christ was crucified. He wasn't crucified so that we will not die for what we believe. He has given us an example that there is a place prepared for us up above. Like what a hymn writer says, there's a place for little children above the bright blue sky. There is a place that is prepared for us. Don't let your place to become empty. Don't let distraction take away your abode, your eternal place of abode. The Lord Jesus Christ is waiting for us. Oh, will his expectation be defeated? Will his expectation fail? Hope does not fail. Don't disappoint the Lord. Everything is ready. Just keep on. Just keep moving a little longer and the trouble will be over. I have not seen a student who is serious thinking about comfort when it is time for preparation for exam or during the exam. He does everything possible to make sure that he fasts. Some will even put water in a bowl. Some will take coffee to make sure that they don't sleep. They put their soak their legs deep in cold water and make sure that sleep is driven away. They discomfort themselves because they are aiming at the prize of passing their exams. So also we Christians, we are preparing for exams. Some of us have started sitting for our exams. Let's forget about comfort for now because the Lord Jesus Christ is actually waiting for us. He wants us to overcome. I want to pray with as many that are suffering, just very briefly, that the Lord will uphold your faith and help you and take away every obstacle from your way, every obstacle that is capable of pulling you from your faith. Let the Lord take it away or give you the strength to overcome. Let us pray. Holy Father, I lift up every believer all over the world to you. I ask, O oh Lord God, help our faith. As many that have unbelief, Lord, help their unbelief. By strength, no man prevails. It is not by power, it is not by might, but by your spirit, Lord, we will make it. The earth, the world, everything around us is turning to darkness so quickly. Satanism has eaten deep over our governments. All over the world, persecutions are breaking out against us true believers. The church is no longer safe for us to practice true Christianity. The body of Christ, just as Jesus Christ said that you have made my house a house of a den of robbers. So it is today. So much persecution cutting across almost, if not all, denominations. So much persecution against, against true believers. Satan now goes to church. He sits in the pew. A lot of times he climbs our pupits and he dishes out lies. Lord, help the remnant. Help us, Lord. The time is not getting brighter. Lord, please. Help us to stand for what we believe. When the billows come, when the waves blow through our way, when the torrents try to take us away, Lord, just as you prayed for Peter and said, Peter, Satan has asked to save you like wheat, but I've prayed for you. And when you're strong, strengthen your brethren. Lord, pray for us. Send your angels to strengthen us. Some of us are about giving up. Lord, strengthen as many that are about giving up. Help us to believe, to have the faith of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that remained so steadfast. Ready. They were ready to die. Even as at when they were being bound and thrown into the fire, they were ready to die. Lord, help us to have that kind of faith of Esther. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Lord, you, you've set an example for us. 
should have been possible for you to ask the Lord to give you thousands of angels to destroy your enemies, but you never did that. Instead, you gladly laid down your life for us. That was the reason you came. You fulfilled it and you said, it is finished. Help us to also say in our time, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now it's laid for me a crown of life. Lord, we want nothing but just a good welcome. Welcome, good and faithful servant. This is our wish. This is our cry. And Lord, we ask that whatsoever thing we need to help us to become useful to your kingdom and useful to those who are suffering, the poor, the children out of, that are out of school, those who are hungry, the sick, whatsoever thing we need to encourage them and bring them into the kingdom, to encourage our brethren, to those who are destitute, those who are hungry and about giving up in their faith, Lord, we pray that you bring all such resources to us. And when you bring them to us, Lord, also give us the grace to use them accordingly. Let us not abuse your gifts, your, your blessings in our lives. Lord, help us to always remember those in need, those who are giving up probably just because of a few dollars. They are giving up. Lord, help us to locate them and help us, give us a grace to use all that we have to save the kingdom and children of the kingdom. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget that Satan has permission a lot of times to come for our faith and that God is always with us, even to the end of time. God bless you. Bye-bye.